Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Shadowrun Returns with me, Flip. Last time we uh, went to the morgue and we did a lot of talky-talky, blah blah blah. Uh, and now we have a guy following us named Jake Armitage or Arm Armitage. Arm I'm gonna go with Armitage because it sounds cool. Um, and we're heading over to the Redmond Barrens in order to murder a person. Let's start this. Chukuchin. My stash is just around the corner in the alley. Okay, we gotta find Jake's stash. There's a Vlad. Vlad's over there. Hmm. Some guy I can't talk to. Anything else on the street here? Organ grinders. Oh my god, this... I mean, first of all, this, uh... This game is beautiful. Like, for a, two, for a 2D isometric game, this game's beautiful. Look at this. It's beautiful. And the fact that it runs well on my computer, which, as you all know, sucks. Does the bus stop here? No. No, sir, the bus does not. Ask not for whom the bus stops. The bus stops for you. Go talk to Vlad, I guess. Vlad, do you know where the stash is? As you approach, the man sizes you up. You can see the age-old fight or flight equation running behind his drug-clouded eyes. Beneath the track marks on his arms, you spot a set of tattoos that indicate he is, or at least was, once a shaman. Uh, get out of my way. Oh, okay, 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 okay. The broken man backs away, hiding his head in his hands. Can I talk to him again? No, okay. He's just like a dude. I don't like Vlad. He's a drug-addled thing. Um, so we got one of them rickshaw things. Apparently some Silent Hill going on over here in this area. Oh, this would make a great, like... You know, what's it called? I don't know. Munchies! A great uh, setting for a scary kind of game. Don't go to the market. Don't worry, I will. Who are you? Sarah. Let's go talk to Sarah. Hey, Sarah, how's it going? I'm gonna talk to you. Do you have a picture, Sarah? No, then I'm not gonna do her voice. Her clothes may be dirty, but this woman is far from downtrodden. Hey, not that it's my business, but I wouldn't go that way. Um, hey, what's, why, what's going on? Just some Halloweeners stirring up trouble again. She points to the south. They rode up in, they rode in this morning on those fancy bikes, set up camp in the old street market. They've been marching up and down the street all day, shaking down anyone that wanders past. Typical. Well, odds are those are the guys we're after. Anything else I should know about these gangers? Sounds like a friendly bunch. Are you going to be... Oh, yeah, sounds like a friendly bunch. Are you going to be safe out here? She laughs. You think I'm dumb enough to get caught out in the open by one of those assholes? Nah. I know these streets like the back of my hand. Worry about your own skin. Um... Okay. Yeah, they're going to be in for a rude surprise. You might want to clear out before the shooting starts. Don't need to worry about me. I know how to lay low. They're a tough bunch, though. Don't say I didn't warn you. Alrighty. I guess... I guess to them over there? I don't like being first. Because I'm very, very weak. I'm not a... I'm not a dude. Maybe it's over here? Oh, is that... Oh, that must be Armitage's stash. Yeah, let's go. Let's go do this first. What do we got? Hidden in the garbage strewn alley is a high-tech safe with a mag card reader on the front. Open the safe with his card. Um... Mission item removed, Jix. Okay. With a smooth hiss, the safe opens to reveal a collection of what, uh, of gear that is a perfect match for your skills. Take your gear. Or you take the gear. Yes. Hello, enemies. Hand over the loot, bozos! No, thanks. I'm gonna help run and hide behind this thing. And let's see what we can do here. Can do an aimed shot, might as well. At this guy? Mugger. Or Street Thug. We'll go with Mugger. Okay, I need to check out um, 
Armitage, because I didn't, I don't know what his uh, juices are. Apparently he's a pistol guy, or a grenade guy, but mostly a pistol guy. Okay, which is fine, because he's got a pistol. We'll do an aimed shot, hide behind here, shoot that guy in the, f oh my god, he's just super dead. Bang! And you're dead. No damage taken. Sweet. So welcome to the Barrens. Guess I'll need to find a new spot to hide my gear. Um, yeah. Good dead drops are so hard to keep these days. <laughs> well, at least they were too dumb to break my mag lock. Now that we got some gear, let's go da deal with those Halloweeners. Sounds good. Where are the Halloweeners? I'm guessing these are Halloweeners? Oh, there's a guy over here. Worried man. Let's go talk to the worried man. Hey, buddy. The man before you appears well-mannered, but nervous. Excuse me, sir. I don't know you, but you look like you can handle yourself in a fight, and we need some help. Um... Um... Eh, what's your problem? Some thugs are shaking down the market we've set up here. It's been getting worse lately. I don't think we can afford to pay them anymore, but no one will stand up to them, and Lone Star isn't about to get involved. Um, okay. How many of them are there, and how much are you paying? I think there's only one or two of them right now. I can't talk about price, but Mrs. James will surely reward you fairly. Who the hell is Mrs. James? Is it like Dr. Jones, but Mrs. James? Um, let's hear. Hmm... <laughs> well, my current client is pretty patient. Where are they? Sure. Oh, thank you. Just keep heading north, and you'll see it at the end of the street. <clears throat> I have a feeling we're going to kill them anyway, so they might as well. Okay. Mm I'm guessing it's these two. Head thug, and we got some thugulas over here. Commerce is like a weed, taking root in the cracks and crevices of the world, wherever it can. A small street market has flourished here amidst the crumbling buildings of the Redmond Barons. Alrighty, let's see here. Yes, uh, I guess we're going to go talk to... Look, mate, just pay up. Oh, is there a thing going on here? No, I thought there was a thing going on. But we barely have anything left. Now my problem, pay up by morning or else. I'm going to talk to you. Oh my god, look at that guy. He looks like my uh, uncle, actually. Um, <laughs> the thug attempts to use his bulk and hideous breath to intimidate the shopkeeper. The old woman is holding firm, but you can see the thug's patience fading fast, and he looks like he's about to start breaking things. Hey, who the hell are you? Um, oh, look, if I could have done that, etiquette gang, but I don't have that. <coughs> I heard about you. Why don't you piss off? Um, bet your mom's real proud of you right now. Like I ain't ever heard that before. I don't see a badge, so why don't you mind your own? Let's see here. Business. Dusting you is getting me. It's gonna get me paid. I knew you were just looking to cause static. Dash, ice this guy. Who's Dash? Oh my god, my face! Okay. Probably could have handled that better. Who's that? Oh, that's Armitage. Okay. Um, tell you what I'm gonna do. That provides no cover at all. That provides half cover. I'm well. No cover is better than no cover. So, might as well move here and shoot her in the face with burst fall with an aimed shot. Oh my goodness, hells yes. Uh, I might as well use a name shot. Miss. And then he runs. And then I will... There's no reason not to use that, because the only ammo we have is this. I'm guessing, because I haven't seen any, like, pick up ammo kind of stuff. 26% chance for crit. Aww. 
Armitage, finish this guy. I said finish this guy. Thank you. New objective. Speak with the bullied merchant. Okay. We'll speak with him. Hey, dude. I gained a karma. Sweet. I cannot thank you enough. I hate to see such blood shed, but those men would not take no for an answer. We simply want to make our own way in the world. Oh, this is Mrs. James. Dr. Jones, please. It's the least we can do. Holds out a few new yen. I'm taking it. 48 new yen. I don't know if that was worth it. I don't know how much anything costs in this game, because I haven't been able to, you know, use the markets. Let's go down this way. Ooh, there's a magic shop next to naked ladies. Always the best. Um, one thing. Am I still injured? Uh, where's my hit points and stuff? Okay, lag, a little bit of lag, lag, lag. Okay, we're done. Um, yeah, I'm still wounded. So I guess we should use a med kit. Um, okay. I don't know if that was a good thing to do or not. I'm going to just assume it was. Oh, my brethren. Hey, dude. How you doing? Watch out for those gangers. Thanks. This tree looks very important. Um... It's obviously the Halloweeners gang area right there, and that guy's probably going to take offense to me wandering over there. So let's wander over there in the... Here we go. Hey, asswipes, take another step forward, and we are going to paint land to you right there. This is Halloweener property now. This is one of those two... Uh, this is one of the two that got away. If I hadn't missed my shot, these idiots would have gone... Given up and moved out by now. Whatever. Wait a minute. You're rolling with Jake? Bad idea, Chummer. The Halloweeners are collecting that bounty. And killing you? Well, that'd be a nice bonus. Hey, at least we get the initiative. Okay. Crit chance, 34%. I'll take it. It was worth it. Whoa, what the hell are these things? Oh, this guy can summon stuff. Flamethrower, heal wound, aim. Oh, you can heal stuff. Cool. And it doesn't cost anything? Um. Oh, it just heals all the damage from the most recent attack. It's not like... Um, okay. Eh. I would say I want to get this in cover, but I don't know where they're going to be coming from. So maybe here? Whoa! Okay, that was an okay place to hide, I guess. Ah, that hurt. Oh, and you're dead. My god, we are good at combat. Whoa, what the hell is that thing? Oh god, he's got a lot of AP. That's John Paul. Well, John Paul, say hello to my burst fire. <laughs> um, let's start with Jake first, actually. Because Jake will... Jake will put the fear of God into him. Yeah. Trying to weaken him up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Okay, new objective. Visit the murder site deal with the Halloween gang. Gain to karma. Whoa, uncle, uncle. I was just playing with you. I'll call off the rest of the Halloweeners, Jake. Call it even, yeah? You're you're dead. Look, your body has disappeared. What do you think, Jake? Dirtbags like this don't need second chances to lower you. What do you think, Jake? He smirks. Hey, um, I'm all ready yet. Shoot on sight status with these guys. Killing John Paul means one less wiener to shoot me in the back while I'm buying smokes. Hell, they'll be doing the same to you as soon as there's a profit in it. Um, yeah, you're right. Let's finish this. I'll kill him. I, I guess I killed him. 
Okay, let's go visit the Halloweeners stuff over here. Anything I can look at or take. That is one thing that I wish they would have done a little bit more, was just add just flavor, flavor text all over the place. I mean, yeah, it would take forever to read all the flavor text, and people might get pissed off about, you know, unnecessary stuff, but Dan the Donut Man. Bobby. Let's go talk to Dan the Donut Man. I just think it would really liven up the world a little bit more. I mean, it looks great, but I like flavor text. The smell of fried food, powdered sugar, and slightly burned soy calf is almost enough to overpower the dusty sewage stench of Redmond Street. The troll working on the stand is covered to food stains older than he is. What can I get you, chummer? Um, let's see here. Did you see the murder in the alley across the way? Nope, I was closed when it happened. But hey, it's the Barons. A back alley killing is nothing new around here. The only reason the cops are making a big deal about this river business is that some of the victims are real people. You know, folks with sins. Um, if, oh yeah, this was mentioned in the first video. Um, not by anyone, but by me, I guess, where it was like sinless and free. Sin is your, like, security identification number or something. It basically is like your your social security number and um, most people who are real people have them but like low lives and thugs and stuff they don't have them anyways what can you tell me about the barons the barons hell if you have to ask you probably shouldn't be out here this stretch uh, the stretch we're on is called touristville though and I suppose it's the closest thing around here to respectable fewer muggings and you might even survive drinking the water if you're lucky wouldn't recommend it, though. He scratches his armpit. Uh, now, behind me, that's the seamstress's union. You want drinks, drugs, favors, or information around here? The union's your spot. Hell, that place is the reason I'm in business. Folks get the munchies when they party. Mrs. Kubata joins a joint, and she's quality. A hard woman, but fair. I'll take a jelly donut and a soy calf. I'll see you around. Apparently, that was a mission item. Um, let's walk around a bit more. <laughs> NERPS! Buy them at your local S2. NERPS. I'm assuming that NERPS are genetically modified nipples. Um, just because it sounds funny. Hey Sally, how's it going? The dwarf merchant is packing up her stand for the night. I'm closed, come back tomorrow. You got a great view of that alley across the street. Don't suppose you saw the murder or what happened there? She grunts, sure. A Closing up when I heard a series of explosions from behind the Union. A couple seconds later, the guy comes out, runs across the street, didn't get a good look at him. Then all the lights in the alley exploded all of a sudden. Things got pretty quiet after that. Um, thank you for your time. Uh-huh, no problem. Okay, cool. This place is really long. Uh, looks like that's a dead end over there. Soy cap! I'm guessing soy calf is, uh, coffee. Uh, there's a copper over here. Oh, I have to go around this way? I guess I do. I'm guessing that the jelly donuts and stuff are for... What does that say? Dandelion eaters? That's kind of creepy. These trees are weird. I'm guessing they're for, like, the mages or whatever. Uh, as you approach the scene of Sam's murder, Jake spies the flashing red and blue lights up ahead. Whoa, hold up a minute. Lone Star isn't above collecting on a core-issued bounty, and the one on my head isn't going away anytime soon. <sighs> Sorry, friend, I think this is where our paths diverge. Thanks again for your help with the Halloweeners. Here's your payment. A thousand new yen, yeah! They don't take new yen where I'm going, and you look like you could use the funds. Um, likewise, Jake, give me a call when you're in the uh, clear, I guess. Hmm, sorry, friend. He's calling me friend. I don't, I don't trust people that I just suddenly met, and they're like, sorry, friend, or hey, friend, how you doing? I don't trust them. I don't trust you, Jake Armitage. You have a thing in your head, by the way. Um, what, you want a hug or something? Ah! He starts to leave, then his head tells back, Hey, one more thing. When you're done 
checking out your pal's crime scene, pop into the Seamstresses Union. It's just down the street. You need gear, information, or just a damn stiff drink? That's the place to be. Best dive this side of Chicago. I used this place as a base of operations for years back in the day. Make the right friends there, and I'm sure you'll get to the bottom of this ripper business. Well, nice knowing you. Jig turns and disappears into shadowy depths of the Redmond Barrens. In this case, he vanishes into a wall. Which is fine. Hey guys, I'm just, uh, you know, a dwarf who's wounded. Barely. But I'm wounded. I guess we're talking to William. William Defoe. I like that. That is cool. Uh, the bright yellow police tape cuts through the darkness, directing your eyes to the white chalk outline and dark red stain marking the slab of pavement where Sam Watts died. Standing at the entrance to the alley is a Lone Star officer. The cop looks cold, hungry, and irritated at the homeless man who's currently festering him. The homeless man? Oh, I guess that's the homeless man? Yeah. It's William. I keep telling you, I need to get my stuff from the alley or I'm going to die in the cold tonight. And I've been trying to explain to you that this is an official Lone Star investigation, and I can't let anyone in here. Hey, I got rights, you know. Look, you sinless garbage. I've got a job to do. Find a new blanket, or I'll find a reason to use my stun baton. Typical. I hate all you pigs. He looks in your direction. Now what? A uh, long night, eh? You looked cold, so I picked up a donut and some soy calf for you. Uh, let's go with a lie. I'm here to check the site for spectral DNA. I ain't never heard of that. What is it? Yeah, it's this brand new thing the forensic guys are using. I don't totally understand it, but it's the ectoplasmic residue of a magical attack. I need to take some ectoscan to the site. Or... Listen, do you give blah, blah, blah. You think Dresden explained it to me? The guy only talks to dead people. He just told me to scan the site. Sorry, not without going through proper channels. You go back to the corner and tell him to clear this through Lone Star before you get back in my face again. Fine. 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 Long night, eh? You looked cold, so I brought up, picked up a donut and some soy calf for you. Hey, thanks. The Ossifer's the face lights up, and he takes a sip. He seems pretty trusting for an officer of the law. You know, when my dad was a cop, this was back when cops actually worked for the government, he said folks would buy him coffee all the time, but I ain't seen it till now. So what can I do you for? Uh, I'm actually working for the dead man to help find his killer. Can I come in? My pleasure. I'm here from Internal Affairs to review the forensic guy's work to find anything they might have missed. Sure, dig in. That's totally... They didn't chain that right. Whatever. Sure, dig in. I certainly wouldn't mind the guys getting taken down a peg or two. Man, do they put on airs, if you know what I mean. I don't know what you mean. That's a weird thing. Yeah, let's go in here. We got four things to look at. Investigate. Amidst the shards of glass from the broken light, you find a small piece of glass which looks like the bottom of a test tube. Cool. What about over here? Uh, this looks like the coat and blanket that the old man was trying to get back. Um, let's examine it for evidence. As you shuffle the bunch of cloth to the side, a printed receipt falls out from beneath the fold of the blanket. It's a bar receipt for the Seamstresses Union, dated two days ago at 3.02 a.m. Right around the corner is reported time of death. The customer, Sam Watts. The server's name is listed as Coyote. Uh, let's pick up the coat and blankets. We're going to go ahead and give it to the, uh, whatchamacallit. This work light is new. You can see that all the alleys normal work lights have been ruined. Upon closer inspection, it seems they've all imploded, as if some force shattered them all at the same time. Yeah, we figured that one out. What about over here? There are two distinct sets of footprints, a human ending at the chalk outline and a larger set, possibly orc control, following just behind the first. Interesting. Well, let's talk to William and give him his cloth and stuff back. You, I saw you over there with that rat bastard cop. What do you want? Streets have not been kind to this old man, but they've also hardened him. This man is clearly a survivor, the one wrestling with one of, uh, with the onset of age and arthritis. I think this coat and these blankets belong to you. My stuff. Mighty decent of you. 
Don't see that kind of thing too often out here. Know anything about the murder that took place here? He squints at you suspicious. You a copper or working for some core? Um. Uh, yeah, let's hear. No, no, no. Uh, just a freelancer. Nope, I'm as sinless as you. Mind answering a few questions? Hey, what makes you think I'm sinless? <laughs> just messing with you. Of course I'm sinless. System ID number? My ass. Yeah, there you go. System ID number. What questions you got? Uh, did you see the murder? Nope. And I can't say I'm sorry I missed it. I was hauling crates for Mrs. James up at the market. Can't carry as many as I used to, so it took a while. Got back here in time to see a couple of tourists puking all over my home turf. By then, that jerk face in the uniform had already set up shop in my alley. Um, so it sounds like you live in this alley. Sure, for the last couple of months I've been sleeping there. But I spend my days out doing odd jobs for the street merchants or panhandling tourists over near the seamstresses' union. Uh, what else did you see that night? Oh, well, you know, earlier in the night I saw a big and ugly troll in green hospital scrubs snooping around the block. He bought some donuts and two cups of soy calf over Dan's there. Seemed nervous. He did everything with his left hand because his right was all screwed up by some cyberware. Um, can you tell me more about the troll's cyberware? Sounds interesting. Well, it was big, and I think it must have been some hospital attachments, because I saw some needles. It was a lot like one I saw back in 44 when I got captured by elves. They did all sorts of experiments on me. Let me tell you, never trusted one of them cyber people. Oh, I wanted to hear more of his crazy rantings. See you around. <laughs> back in 44? My God! Things happened. Okay, let's go talk to Dan again. Maybe he knows about this, uh crazy robot arm person Dan you, you you've got your pulse on the uh, on everything you sell some donuts to a troll wearing scrubs last night maybe what's it to you I sell a lot of donuts to a lot of people I know how lone side pro, uh, profiles meta humans I tell them about a troll that bought donuts for me right before murder they'll haul them in to see just if anyone will pay to bail now today my friend I'll take a jelly donut and a soy calf See you around. You never know when you might need another donut. Might be wasting money, but whatever. Let's talk to uh, Bobby, and then we'll head into the seamstresses union. Hey, Chama. Got some tasty muscles for you. Just whatever well-dressed shadow runner would have in the back pocket. Uh, let's see what you got. Okay. Uh, kamikaze and Nitro. These sound like drugs. <laughs> Um, Kamikaze is a combat stim that increases body plus two, strength plus one, and willpower plus one for five rounds. Nitro increases willpower plus two and charisma and intelligence minus two for five rounds. Uh, I'll take one, I guess. Um, what is this? We'll put that in the stash, I think. Because I don't need it right now. Confirm! Okay, so Bobby's a merchant that sells drugs. Anything over here? This is the best place to party! I don't think I can go back there. That's fine. Okay, to the Seamstresses Guild. Or Union. Why do I have a feeling this is a whorehouse? It just sounds like one. You are about to leave the Barons and enter the Seamstresses. Would you like to proceed? Um, I think I did everything. We went in here, we did all that, yeah. Let's go. Doot and doot and doo doo. We're waiting for a save so I can end the video. Um, there we go, loading. Same streets as Union. Let's see, relative to the rest of the Barrens, Turrisville is a neon-clothed oasis. At its heart is the Seamstress's Union, housed in an old brownstone building on the corner of Illegal and Opportunity. Oh, an old brownstone building on the corner of Illegal and Opportunity. Bums huddle together, gangsters trot the streets, and the occasional salaryman comes slumming. The Union building has been retrofitted, rebuilt, and restored so many times that it's like an aging starlet wearing too much makeup in an attempt to stay young. 
The wild ivy growing out of the gutters adds to this effect. As you enter, the murmur of hushed conversations washes over you. The dive bar denizens raise their heads, take your, uh, take your measure, and then go back to your their business. Your their business, yes. This is the kind of place where everyone knows your name, but keeps to themselves. And, um, yeah, so basically it's that old, uh, Old West saloon scene where I walk in, I'm like, do, do, do. no, wait, no, that's, that's a porno. That's porno sounds. I don't know. And I walk in the doors and everybody looks at me, they're like, ugh. And I'm like, oh, crap, I'm going to die. And then they all look back. Anyways, that's it for this time on Let's Play... What is this called? Shadowrun Returns! I'll see you guys next time.